फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट वी एग्री इन प्रिंसिपल विद द अंडरलाइंग आइडिया ऑफ दिस रेजोल्यूशन दैट देयर शुड बी सीलिंग पुट ऑन द इनकम टू बिगिन विद ऑफ द सिविल सर्वेंट्स दिस क्लास ऑफ सिविल सर्वेंट्स हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय द अर्स्ट वाइल रूलर्स ऑफ इंडिया द ब्रिटिश इंपीरियलिस दे हैव क्रिएटेड दिस क्लास एज स्लेव ड्राइवर्स जोबर्स एंड मिस्त्रीज ऑफ दिस ग्रेट इंडस्ट्रियल कंसर्न दैट दे वर रनिंग द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आफ्टर फ्रीडम मोर पर्टिकुलरली टूडे वैन वी आर थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्लानिंग वैन वी आर थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्लोजिंग द गैप बिटवीन द हाई एंड द लो इनकम इन दिस कंट्री वैन वी आर थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेजिंग द लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ द कॉमन पीपल वी हैव गो टू थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ इवन स्लैशिंग द हाइएसट सैलरीज दैट हैव बीन एवोर्डिड टू दिस क्लास ऑफ पीपल टू दिस क्लास ऑफ सिविल सर्वेंट्स by the earlier rulers of this country as trade unionists we have very bitter feelings my friend professor kishan chan has just now said that there should be ceiling even on industrial income even on payment of salaries to the managers and the managing staff of private concerns and commercial and industrial concerns i entirely agree with that proposition as trade unionists when we present a case for wage increases we have been shouting in every place in every industry that every concern wants to give higher salaries to the managerial staff in order that they may get the incentive to curb the workers in order that they may work upon the workers as slave drivers as mistries etc i entirely agree with professor kishan chan that even the salaries of such people must be slashed even they must be asked to receive a lower income just as a private industrialist in the interest of the exploitation in the interest of curbing down ordinary labor wants to pay higher salaries to the supervisory staff to the managerial staff similarly the government of india the earlier government of india the british government was paying higher salary to this type of managerial staff of this slave concern today sir we are thinking in terms of covering up this gap of shortening this gap and in such circumstances it is absolutely necessary that on the one hand we raise the incomes of the lower income groups and on the other slash down the incomes of the higher salaried people i entirely agree with the proposition that the higher salaried people also may be given social amenities like housing health services and so on but these should be included in their total emoluments which must not be so high when the post and telegraphs employees when the railway employees when the government of india employees ask for a new pay commission to be appointed as the earlier commission was appointed at a period when the salary structure of the country 
was not certain when the government itself was not in our hands but that now the production has increased that the economy of the country is going up in a particular direction the leadership of the country wants to take the country in a particular direction you do not agree when the post and telegraphs employees the railway employees the non gadgeted employees ask for an increase in their salaries you come out saying that their salaries will not be increased unless they increase further the output and production in this case you want to link up production with the salary when we are telling you that there is no incentive to the railway employees to the post and telegraphs employees to the non gadgeted employees you do not say anything but you say that there should be incentive to the ics officers the police commissioners and to all these people in the shape of high salaries this is your policy but sir this policy does not hold good with the declaration of a socialistic pattern in the international organizations in the ilo and in other places you say that there should be equal pay for equal work but certain categories get a very high salary while certain others who may not be counted as civil servants who may not be counted as the collectors but who put in exactly the same amount or even more of work are not paid the same amount for example the collector is paid a certain amount but what about the civil surgeon is not the civil surgeon equally responsible is he not the district medical authority even then look at the disparity between the salaries of the civil surgeon and the collector this short of disproportion is there even in the higher services there is disproportion not only between the higher services and the lower services but there is disproportion even between the higher services of different categories among the forest services judicial services medical services engineering services in all these cases there is this type of disparity the nature of work the amount of work the total energy expended may be the same or even more but the salary given is less therefore sir there is absolute justification that the whole thing should be investigated the whole thing should be gone into and a new salary structure must come which will definitely bring down this gap mr deputy chairman sir i am really very happy that my friend mr mukherjee has placed this resolution before the house just at present i am not considering the feasibility of implementing it but it gives us an opportunity to examine the approach that is adopted by the planning commission as well as by the government my line of argument would be more or less similar to that of professor ranga if one reads the planning commission's report it makes a very very disappointing reading when coming to the income of the professional people 
as well as the commercial classes the objective before the planning commission is 30 times the minimum income stop